So this is a Microsoft Lumia 950, and you might be wondering, Microsoft, a Microsoft phone? What are you, in 2014? Why are you talking about these? And that's just about it. I was really intrigued recently about the entire way that Nokia tumbled from its, uh, you know, position as the king in the mobile market to where it is today, and it was just fascinating to me, and during all that, you know, I came across this on eBay, the Microsoft Lumia 950. Now, I thought it was just a used phone, but it turns out this is a brand new phone, still in its packaging and everything. So I decided, you know what, let's look it out. Let's, let's, let's unbox this and show it off on camera. So this is the 950, uh, not the XL, this is the 950. There was an XL model with a larger screen, but um, in short, it has a Snapdragon 808. It has three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage, so not the world's worst specs per se. It is a 2015 phone. It was launched in September of 2015, so that was um, kind of the year that the iPhone 6S came out. So that's what its main competition was at that time, if you think about it. And um, one thing that did surprise me was that uh, Lumia, so the Lumia run, Microsoft Lumia was actually active until late last year. It was only in October 2017 that the brand actually shut itself and um, they stopped making phones, which is interesting because I thought that Lumia died years ago, but hey, it, it was, uh, there was a lot of reasons for why Microsoft failed as a um, phone OS per se, and one of them was uh, the app support, but you know, I always felt like their devices uh, were cool, the home screen layout they had was very interesting. And uh, they did a lot of things right. And uh, so let's just open up this box and see what it's like. Now this is a very weird phone because it's hard to get any information on it because everything seems to be region specific. In fact, so region specific that this phone actually could have come with wireless charging depending on what region you bought it in, which sounds weird to me because I'm like, what, why? How is that such, like, that is not a feature that comes uh, country dependent. For some reason it is for uh, Microsoft in that age, so plastic is off. Uh, let's see, let's open this box up. All right, so very unimpressive box. I mean, it, it looks like there was no attention paid because everything is just kind of like floppy in it and this doesn't look professional. All right, this comes out. Something flopping around inside this. Let's open it up, if I can open it up. Does it slide out? Yeah, okay, it slides out. So there seems to be the power brick in this. So a Microsoft branded power brick of all things. So, I mean, that's something. USB on the side, your same old charger. And then we got, uh, I'm fairly certain this is a USB-C phone. Uh, so let me pull out this cable. And yes, it is. So this did come with USB-C back in 2015, which is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty surprising because even Samsung didn't make that switch until 2017 or late 2016 actually with the, um, no, it was early 2017 with the uh, Galaxy S8. So let's grab the phone. This is this weird plastic. It feels like it's a rough textured plastic. That's really nothing to be impressed about, but what is it? Wow. So this is, I guess, this is the adhesive that was supposed to hold this tray in place. And since the box is so old, it kind of just moved out. Um, and that's it. The The box is about that. So this was a very, either this is a repacked phone, which I highly doubt it is. Nobody would go through the effort of repacking this to the level it was. Or Microsoft just was horrible with their branding and the box and the packaging. All right, here's the phone. So it is black. So that's another mystery solved because on the box, it did not specify it was black or white or whatever it was. Because on the front, it showed a black phone. On the back, it was white. And then there was just no color specified anywhere on the box, which is weird. But uh, right off the top, I can see that there are uh, the silver buttons, which is actually kind of cool. It contrasts well with the black. So this is assuming volume up, down, power. And then this is probably uh, the dedicated camera uh, button, which is actually pretty cool. I haven't seen these on a phone in a while. Everybody's kind of moved away and uh, gives us these useless buttons to their stupid assistants. I'm looking at you, Samsung, with that stupid Bixby button. All right, on the back, 
it is a brand new phone that I'm telling you, that's for sure. So car, it has the PureView Zeiss lens, uh, apparently a 20 megapixel camera, which is impressive to say the least. But if I've learned anything uh, in the last couple of years is that megapixels do not matter. Now, uh, my 100% bet is that this phone probably won't turn on because it does not have battery. But what we can do is look at the back because this is from an era where you could actually take the backs off of the phones. So let's see, and it might actually even answer the question whether or not this phone comes with wireless charging. All right, so I do think it does come with wireless charging because there is a pad right here with connectors, so that's a thing. And then there is a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, it should be decent, I'm gonna guess, more probably more than decent. Uh, so nano SIM and micro SD card slot. So this is a single SIM version. There are dual SIM versions. This YE sticker. Now this is giving me concern. This might be a used phone because I don't know if Microsoft is really putting these in. I might have to just go back and watch another unboxing of this phone on YouTube to see if that this is actually a part of that. But um, I don't know. So it seems to be pretty basic inside. So let's put the back back on and try to power it on but I know the answer to that is going to be no no charge okay I heard I just felt haptic feedback is it going to power on let's see oh 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 it did oh it did yes it did okay so that is extremely surprising did not expect that to happen all right let's see how far it gets before the battery dies I'm going to hope not too much. Oh, wait, no. I mean, I hope that it lasts not, not too much. Uh, I have a little bit of a cold, and my head is everywhere right now, so just excuse me if I'm blabbering stuff that you cannot understand. So it does come with this screen guard pre-installed, which has bubbles all over it, so I'm just going to get rid of it. So this is an AT&T phone, and um, this does have an AMOLED display, which is actually really, really impressive, even for 2015. Um, and yeah, there's so many options for English. I have no idea why. Next, next, uh, close, accept, um, time zone. I'll, I'll deal with this later. So, oh my God, look at how much battery this has. So that's weird. So if this phone has been sitting in a box at least for a year and a half or two years, and it still has that much battery, that's making me think maybe it's not been sitting in a box for two years. So this is this is kind of like a weird, I don't know what to say. I don't know what it is. Probably is, probably isn't. All right, so um, that's it. That's my unboxing of this phone. And oh, I just noticed this, look at this. Uh, the Microsoft logo, it's not, it's not just a sticker. It's actually metal in the plastic, which is really nice touch. So, in the hand, it feels honestly like any other Lumia phone. If you've held a Lumia phone, you know it's a uh, characteristic kind of heft and design and shape. You know, these very squared edges. Um, the display looks really nice, to be honest with you. The, the AMOLED looks really crisp. And with the dark uh, kind of layout of this uh, Microsoft OS, it just looks pretty cool. So, I mean, for 100 bucks, I don't know what else I can ask for. But uh, if I have any more cool... Uh, interactions with this phone, I will definitely be making an update video. And if you guys have any questions about Microsoft uh, phones in 2018, let me know because that would be an interesting video to make. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.